Lynch is dead, along with Salvador, Tomas, Marcia's missing, Darling is Problem in the foundation. That was Ati's vacation spot. We need to check this out. Dark, quiet, transdimensional. This place really suits Ati. So that etching is the door. Okay. No time for sightseeing. The board said this was an emergency. It looks like no one's been down here in a while. Hmm. The crystals are kind of pretty. Emily would be having a field day in here. on the hotline unless I only heard of the foundation when I became head of operations the very bottom of the oldest house director access only just the name alone is classified Zachariah gave me a tour the day I was promoted said I should see it for myself to understand after that I snuck down on my own from time to time to keep tabs on the place, and on them. But nothing ever changed down there. Not even the walls. It's solid, permanent, different from the rest of the house. Of course, they were always watching me. I never stayed long. I'm not stupid. I have to stop the hiss from finding this place. I'm the only one who can. She's dead. Oh, Jesus. She seemed like the kind of woman who could survive anything.
Those paintings look old. Like, old, old. is now. Astral plane is cutting into our dimension. What if this happens in the upper floors? It'll destroy the bureau. I brought Emily with me. I could really use my head of research right about now. Marshall? Marshall! Wait! It's Jesse! The director! Whoa. This place is huge. Marshall? Can you hear me? She was on the hotline, so that person couldn't have been Marshall, right? One problem at a time. Let's see what's going on with that pillar first.
So I can only choose one? I thought I was done with these tests. This broken pillar is called the Nail. It was broken by something, and now the astral plane is bleeding into the foundation, which will destroy the oldest house, the Bureau, and everyone inside. I need to find four locks, or keys, or whatever, to stop that from happening. But I'm the director. I've handled worse. This should be it's simple. Been five days since we first entered the building. You with me? Traversing the interior is dangerous due to the shifting, but we did manage to find a lower cavern that seems structurally predictable, which is a scientific way of saying its walls won't crush us in our sleep. Northmore even made a discovery. A pistol placed on a stone pedestal in front of that strange ebony pillar. Seems like something out of a storybook, except the heroes usually find swords, not handguns. But it is the perfect lure of someone like him. Hours after finding this weapon, Northmore cornered me to spout some nonsense about how the board had made him the director. He ran it about the title being meaningless before now calling father and all other previous directors jams, frauds, and worse. I think this place is worse for Northmore than it is for me. Strangest thing? There was no pedestal in front of that pillar a day ago. This building has swallowed a dozen of my men, and now it's handing out presents? 
Is it playing some sort of game? If it is, we're most certainly losing. Hell, we don't even know the rules. Is this a bureau ID badge? It looks so old. Hope will definitely want to see this.
weird place to leave an ID card, but okay. <laughs> working. It won't go any higher. I wonder if I can charge it up somehow. Twenty-eight days now spent inside what we're calling the Earth. Northmore insists on the name. I'm too tired to ask why. I'm not sleeping well. Per orders, me and my research team have established a permanent examination lab in the Foundation. I basically live down here now, like the obedient head of research father raised me to be. I spend my days investigating that odd pillar when Northmore found the handgun. The work was half-hearted at first, I admit. But then I discovered numerous non-Aristotelian energy channels converging at its base. Ley lines, dragon roads, Hyla Galenian, call them what you want. But this pillar is the crossroads. I started building something. Equal parts talisman and technology. An array that can impose order on the ley junctions. That's the idea, at least. We'll see when I'm done. I prefer to work away from the pillar. I'm not the only one who feels like that thing has eyes.
and I'll do it again. I've served under two directors. Three now, I suppose. Trench and I worked our way up together. We made it through the tough cases, the bad days, the casualties. He was the epitome of a good agent. Smart, decisive, selfless. Then he picked up that damn gun. Becoming director is a formal process overseen by the board. Lots of ritual and mystery. After that, key staff provide detailed briefs on all classified matters. Past and present. But with Faden... Well, there's no protocol for field promotion. The girl's smart, has a good head on her shoulders. I'm trusting her to handle the hiss upstairs, while I hold them off here. All this shit with the nail, the board, I'm not sure she's ready. Besides, I work better alone.
hatching, like the one I used to get in here. told me about? How did she get down here? What are you doing down here, Emily? What do you mean? You called me down, remember? I'm pretty sure I didn't. No, that's right. You didn't. But then, I remember you needing me to come here. I mean, you even told me how to get in. Let's just chalk it up to synchronicity so we can get to work. She takes everything in stride. The board called me down here to deal with the situation. The astral plane is colliding with our world, I know. Isn't it fascinating? I never even considered that the astral plane could be a, a physical volume expanding beyond its dimensional container. The bleed is localized to this area, but its growth rate seems steady. Given time, it will consume the entire Bureau, and possibly beyond. That's what I'm here to stop. 
The Borg told me to fix the nail over there by dismantling four locks in the astral plane. Funny, I think it's put itself back together a bit. So that could be due to the law of inverse exchange. For every associated component you remove, this nail reconstructs. Or possibly some variation of anti-sympathy. Don't worry. I'll look into it. Did you notice all the Bureau infrastructure? It looks like there was a research team stationed down here at some point. Do you think Darling knew about this? I'd put money on it. That reminds me. Have you seen Marshall? She contacted me over the hotline, but then I saw her walking around. I haven't seen her. The hotline only connects to extraplanar entities. Or dead people. But Marshall's proved time and time again that she's a survivor. That's exactly what I thought. Anyway, I've been looking into the minerals growing down here. Have you noticed how they insist on maintaining a certain form? Maybe some sort of a, a state memory, or they consciously prefer a certain shape? I think we're on a clock here, Emily. I need to stop the astral bleeding before it brings the oldest house down. See what you can find out from the nail in the meantime. And send out some rangers to look for Marshall. She may be in trouble. Will do, Jesse. If you see anything interesting, remember to take detailed notes. All the tests I run on the nail keep coming back as nonsense. And a couple of my instruments have already broken. Maybe we should take that as a sign to pack it in? I didn't take you for a quitter, Dr. Saba. There's a reason I packed a black rock-plated microscope. Jesse, you're back! So did you find anything noteworthy? The original Bureau expedition down here left so much interesting stuff behind. Like their ID cards. I picked up a weird one. It's pretty old. Oh wow, look at that. Yeah, I found a few ID cards myself. Or, more accurately, the Rangers found them for me. Are you starting a collection? I'm going for the whole set. I kid, of course. But I suppose they are sort of like baseball cards. Except for Bureau stuff from the 60s. Hey, the one you found is different than mine. It looks like it's a higher clearance level. A rare one, then. Want to keep it, Emily? <laughs> yeah, I absolutely do. But I think you should hang on to it for now. High clearance access might come in handy. Sounds like you have something in mind. Guilty. See, I've been going through Dr. Ash's notes, or the ones I can find, anyway. Like Darling, he seemed to enjoy hiding his most relevant research. From what I gather, there is another floor beneath the warehouse with a special lab that requires five high-level staff members just to access. Here, take this. It's an old skeleton key. Something else the rangers found. I give them five bucks for every useful trinket they bring me. I'm gonna assume this key is my ticket to that lower floor. And that super secret lab you mentioned. Bingo bango, as Dr. Darling used to say. Well, keep your eyes peeled for more ID cards around the warehouse. If Ash's notes are reliable, and I'm sure they are, then five is the magic number. The Rangers have tapped into an old radio network they found around the Foundation. So if you need backup, just call them at one of the stations. How did the Hiss get into the Foundation? Same way we did, I imagine. But you need to remember that the Hiss are the embodiment of persistence. Their nature seems to be one of force, to find every possible vulnerability and exploit it. Their only goal is consumption. I'm sure there's plenty of goodies for them down here. The nail, for instance. If the Hiss could corrupt the nail, I'm sure they would have by now. It must not interest them in its broken state. They could be distracted by the numerous unknown paranatural materials I'm sure are lying around. These are the roots of the oldest house. The Hiss will find plenty of ways to make trouble. They're pretty good at that. So you've never heard of the Foundation, huh? I've never even seen the name referenced. It clearly, it's highly classified, but for what reason? See, the problem with these kinds of closed-off, hidden areas is that they were likely sealed for good reason. 
But now, no one is left to tell us what that reason was. Any guesses why the Bureau would hide something like this? I only know what I've observed. This place is spatially rigid, which means it doesn't shift like the rest of the oldest house. And before you ask why that is, I have to admit that I'm clueless. There's some signal interfering with my equipment, making it hard to get a clear reading. It's being emitted from the floor. Maybe I should have brought a jackhammer. The astral plane is already taking chunks out of this place, Emily. Let's not add to it. So let me get this straight. The astral plane is bleeding into the foundation. Correct. And that's happening because the nail is damaged. I'd say it's a bit more than damaged, but yes, that is my understanding. So what's the connection between the nail and the astral plane? It's a good question. See, I always pictured objects of power as strings between our plane and the astral. If the nail has a similar relationship, then maybe it's more accurate to think of it like plumbing. Now that the nail is busted, sewage is gushing everywhere. Not the prettiest metaphor. I should get back out there. Agreed. The astral bleed won't stop itself. Don't be a stranger. Don't be a stranger.
This area looks newer. Is it from the upper floors? This is Director Faden. Send a ranger to my position. Let's do this!
detected in Tranquil Bay. Access is prohibited from safety regulation 18.A. No power. Typical. So that's the altered item. Looks pretty secure.
ever see. Hiss, take the nail. End of the world. So I can't let the Hiss take the nail. Not a problem. I know how to handle them. I snuck into the Foundation through a back door I know. Had to get ahead of the Hiss. Just a matter of bypassing the ritual protections. Luckily, the board's as distracted as the rest of the Bureau. I had to put on a brave face up there. But the situation is the worst I've ever seen. We're getting back on our feet, but we've already lost so much. Trench is dead. Darling is... somewhere. I'm the only one left. But I still have a job to do. Keep the hiss back. There's not enough HRAs to spare, so I'll have to make do with what I've got. Frankly, I don't even know what will happen if the hiss take the nail. Trench made it sound like it'd be the end of the world. He was never one to exaggerate. Well, orders are orders, even if they come from a dead man. Another etching. giving me something you won't. <sighs> I don't like you deciding what I can't slash, can't do.
getting pretty tired of being jerked around the astral plane. If you're listening, I want some answers. favorite director. The rangers found a section of the containment sector in the caves, but no house shifts occur down here. Strange. I should get back out there. The astral bleed wants... bleed goes both ways.
also works. resulting lapse in dress code will be excused. Thank you for your attention.
damaging. They should change their tune all of a sudden. I'm overthinking this whole board former thing. They can sort out their own business so long as it doesn't get in my way. Obsessing over these problems is something Trench would do. But I've got my intuition. And you. If it isn't my favorite direct, the nail is almost repaired. You really do have a knack for this kind of work. Any progress with the nail? Of course. I've been busy with surface analysis. Its composition is remarkably similar to that of material found in the astral plane, but it alters itself between my observations. It's almost as if it doesn't like being examined. So the nail is from the astral plane? Not necessarily. See, if we assume that, we're suddenly facing a lot of new questions. How did something so large get out of the astral plane? How did it get inside the oldest house? Did a threshold bring it in? Did people? Maybe through the motel. Maybe it was always here. Hmm. Doubtful. Have you spent any time looking into the crystals growing around here? As if I could resist. The biggest question is where it comes from. A threshold? Or is it native to the Foundation? But if so, why doesn't it grow in the rest of the oldest house? The fact that they return to an earlier state when damaged is severely inconsistent with our reality's adherence to linear time. So either they're A, partially conscious, or B, organic elements that are foreign to and yet influenced by our dimension. The jury's still out. Have you learned anything about the crystals? I have a power that lets me stretch them. Huh. Yep. Any idea what Marshall would be doing down here? 
That information is on a need-to-know basis, Faden. <laughs> Sorry, I can resist. But honestly, I never had much interaction with Marshall. She only came to me when she was looking for Darling. But this is Helen Marshall we're talking about, the woman who single-handedly dealt with the Bergen Peak AWE. If she's down here, it's because she needs to be. Well, clearly she couldn't handle this one on her own. I'll see you. Take notes. Certainly stranger than I'd like. But this place, it's something else. The shifting pit. It's just another drab building standing there for anyone to see. But no one does. Northmore. Acting director Northmore now is on a train from Washington. He'll expect answers, which is why I'm making these tapes. They're evidence that I'm at least trying to understand. Father searched his entire life for something like this, and we find it one week after he's buried. He always hated irony. Of course, Father, the great director, Ash, would have been the first man in. And look at me, his bookworm son. The supposed head of research who can't stop his legs from shaking long enough to step over the threshold. she thinking? The hiss got in. The foundation is overrun. I was out of time and out of options. I took all the C4 I could get my hands on and strapped it to the nail. Boom. A desperate move. But it's better off in pieces than in enemy hands. Trench wouldn't be thrilled. He always said how vital the nail was. How it was the Bureau's duty to protect it. Bullshit. Those years spent in the director's chair warped his priorities. In the end, he valued order over people. The advice of invisible voices over that of old friends. He lost sight of who he was. The board made sure of that. But I did my duty. The hiss can't corrupt a pile of smoking rubble. My last act as head of operations. I'm done. At least I could take those bastards down with me.
Aiden here. I need a ranger dispatched to my position. The hiss are in for it now. Marshall's brilliant plan was to blow up the nail. <laughs> and she thought I wasn't ready. be better now, not worse. Emily will be back. I hope.
What did you do? What is causing these tremors? I thought you could tell me. I completed the four rituals just like the board told me to. The astral bleed should have stopped. Look, it has stopped. The nail is repaired. But we have a new problem. My analysis of the nail indicates that it is literally a piece of the astral plane. Or possibly a vessel containing the astral plane. Or both. Either way, right now both dimensions are vibrating at completely incompatible frequencies. The spatial friction they are generating is incalculable. It's going to destroy both planes. I messed this all up. Maybe Marshall was right to destroy the nail. I should have left it in pieces. No, then the astral plane would still be leaking in. Sometimes there's no right answer, Jesse. We need more information. No. I need to fix this now. I'll just... I'll figure something out. No, we should really make a plan. The tremors are originating from directly below us, but we don't know what... Perfect. I'll head down and take care of whatever's going on. Just do what you can from here. Jesse, you can't just... I have to, Emily. I'm the director. This is on me. See? I told you we were gonna die down here. Bureau researchers do not panic, Dr. Saba. Keep monitoring those tremors and get me some actionable data. I hope I know what I'm doing. That was just the top of the nail? How much deeper does the foundation go? I have changed. Though it's hard to know how or why. I no longer need tools to detect the house's veins, to hear it breathe. I can feel its blood churning beneath my bare feet. I have added my own illustrations to the walls, trying to solve some mystery that the oldest house whispers to me. I have to avoid the it as I do so. They haunt me. I don't blame them. They're just following the pillar's orders. Even poor Adam doesn't seem to recognize me anymore. I've spent a long time contemplating the etchings of the tree and its roots. Did you know this city used to be a forest? I wonder if our oldest house wore a different face back then. Or if it was always here. A 21st century office building since time immemorial. In a place know the future. Can it change its skin? Can it wander? I always thought the esoteric world was my father's. Not mine, but here, in this sacred place, I finally understand his devotion and his awe. The crystals are going crazy here. Almost like they're trying to stop me. When Marshall blew up the nail, the board attacked her. I don't fucking like it. I tried to get out after the detonation, but the astral spike came out of nowhere. I escaped, but my HRA was damaged. I'd bet a year's salary the board sent it. We never did see eye to eye. They have too much control over Trench, the Bureau, the House. They make themselves part of every important process. Nothing a little C4 can't fix. Two birds, one bomb. Christ, what a mess. But I stopped the hiss. I did it. If Phaeton did her part, then the Bureau is safe. Until the next thing. Jesse has good reason to hate the Bureau. But that could be what we need right now. She won't follow the same path. Won't fall into the same traps. She'll lead her way. So, Director Faden, 
Here's my last lesson. You can't save everybody. the house. Their ears are too full of lies. We were shown the way inside so we could help. But all we've done is fall victim to the same parasite. I should have seen the web earlier. The strands between Northmoor, the pillar, the gun, the id. What hope did we have? Thrown into this conflict beyond our comprehension. I've decided to rejoin the Bureau in the upper levels to end my long absence spent in the Foundation. Northmore will be angry at me for disobeying him. That's just his way. But I don't care. I need to remain in the oldest house to help however I can. I doubt I can steer the Bureau back on the right course, but I have to try. How did I go so long without a purpose? Without devotion, I can hardly remember how it felt. I realize how grateful I am to Father for setting me on this path. I wish I could tell him that. This is the director. I need a ranger at this location immediately. Make way for the director! Marshall? You're... alive. Soon you will no longer recognize us, or yourself, or him, or her, or them. Family is dead. The walls are broken, but... Yellow and red in the eye. God damn it. Inverted is made of right. You fuckers take everything. I am not letting you take this.
corrupted. That explains why the board wasn't answering and what's causing the quakes. Marshall came down here to stop this. I should have been with her. I could have saved her. But I can still save everyone else. Fuck you too. Oh, I'll be sure to. Let's play it smart. They don't need to know I'm onto them. Not yet. Anyway. The nail is secure. The hiss can't touch it. I can't undo the astral bleeding in the foundation, but at least it stopped. Along with the seismic activity. You did it, Jesse. Did you ever find Marshall? I did. She's gone. She died thinking she'd save the Bureau. Not a bad way to go. I wasn't ready for this crisis. I didn't even see it coming. But I promise I'll be ready for the next one. I mean, what good is a director who can't hold her bureau together? I thought I know how to handle things, now that I'm the director. Clearly, it's not that simple. I need to choose a direction for the Bureau. It should be one that serves our goals, not the board's. Whatever those are. I need to lead my way. If it isn't my favorite director. Now that this nail business is handled, I should probably be getting back to executive. But maybe I'll keep poking around. Just for a little bit. Has the nail been doing anything since we restored it? Define anything. Anything unusual? Define unusual? Emily. Sorry, but the answer is a whopping yes. Now that it's whole, the nail is emitting a constant field of, well, think of it like low-level radiation. It seems to suppress any biological matter it encounters. This explains why nothing grows here and why the Bureau had to abandon the area. Prolonged exposure would certainly begin affecting neural processes. Wait, was the field created when I cleansed the nail? I considered that, but the nails' readings are quite different from the ones I recorded at the cleanse control points. I think the nails' field is purely of its own making. In fact, I think it would passively prevent any his corruption, like the HRAs do. Which makes me wonder what actually occurred when you cleansed the nail. I've been wondering about that myself. Did the board let the his corrupt the nail? Did they want me to cleanse it? If so, why? What do you know about Director Northmore? 
Well, uh, he was Director Trench's predecessor, and Northmore's famous for being the first board-appointed director. See, before he found the oldest house, directors were picked by committees of old men in suits, drinking cognac and smoking cigars or whatever. You know, standard, uninteresting methods. I think the word you're looking for is bureaucratic. Or antiquated. Regardless, Northmore was eventually forced to... Well, <laughs> we don't need to go into that. Strangely, the only two board-appointed directors left the position under uh, unusual circumstances. If the board appoints a director, then how do they retire them? I doubt they go out and buy you a gold watch. Sorry, Jesse, I, I didn't mean to imply that- Don't worry. If anyone's getting shown the door, it's them. What do you know about an entity named Former? I can't say I've heard of it. You got any details for me? Well, imagine a one-eyed bug thing. I think it was a part of the board, but then something happened and now it's... separate? Interesting. See, I always wondered if the board was some sort of entity or group or conglomerate of linked consciousnesses, but this supports the group theory. Although I could have undergone some sort of corporeal exile. Too many unknowns to form a working hypothesis yet, but I can prioritize this matter in future astral dives if you think it's important. Fortune favors the prepared. Do it. I'm gonna keep looking around. I wish I could go with you, but I still need 30 hours of training before I can do field work. We'll work on that.